Hi guys, what's up? I am back with The Boys Season 2, Episode 3. I'm finally caught up now. I'm excited to watch this week for a week. And I'm really enjoying the season so far. It's been a bit shocking sometimes and disgusting sometimes, but it's still very entertaining. I love the new character Stormfront. She's probably my new favorite character and I hope she's not evil because Mr. Edgar hired her. I wonder why he hired her if she's so outspoken and doesn't want to follow the script that Vought gives her. But yeah, I just want to dive right into this episode, so let's get started. I'm glad that Butcher told the truth, and um, I'm disappointed in Huey for continuing to lie to Annie. It's pretty cool that Kimiko's um, brother showed up and he has some pretty, pretty epic powers. Old timing? <laughs> hey. Oh, music video? We'll say, I lost me bottle a little bit when I popped you one. So, uh... Is that an apology? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, I said it. I'm Let's happy you said that, yeah. Oh gosh, what a weak punch. He like put his full weight into that shit. I want them to make up. I feel like they won't be an effective team until they do. Hey, you ever hear of an old soup called Liberty? Liberty? I'm not sure yet. How's your crew holding up? Ooh, a new soup? I'm interested. Oh good. Wait, I'm having a few laughs here. You don't think it compromises her allegiances? Well... If it comes to that, I'll neutralize her. The compassion you show your team is oh. truly touching. <laughs> your compassion. She already kind of don't trust her just because she's a soup, even though she's done everything to show you that you can trust her. You helped her. She's been helping you. She even took out her own brother. I am also worried about the fact that she has to give up her brother. I don't think she'll want to do that. Um, but I don't think... She obviously doesn't deserve to die for it. It's her brother. What do you expect she gonna do? Oh, shit. It's just a figure of speech, mate. Sure. Frenchie doesn't trust you anymore. He gonna protect her. So I read up on that this is like a totally made up sign language that she learned. And I think that's pretty awesome. And it makes sense why Frenchie doesn't didn't learn the sign language because it's not like regular yeah, American sign language, language or anything like that. Yep. I don't think letting you go is the way, really. Maybe you two run off together. I don't really know what the best scenario is here. <laughs> Just toss them. Go, no. You're not over pop block. Damn, I thought it was night time. <laughs> oh, you're having heart issues. Damn. Yes, please. She's such a kid. She's asking the actual child here. Got milk. The really funny comments in my first reaction video. This is nice. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, As if you can't tell the atmosphere in this room is really odd. You wanna stay in here and learn Spanish? Or you wanna come outside and have some fun with your old man, huh? Your kids are already smarter than you are. Right, but Homelander laser blasts out the tires. This guy is familiar. Oh, he's also in Big Lies in Wolf of Wall Street, apparently. Holy shit. That is the moment the Seven became. The Seven? The Seven. This is not just. Oh, he's so not shit. doing well at all. Big night. 
and I want to shoot the whole thing oh, up, right? Very grounded, loud, huh? very grounded. I want to take the audience oh, cool. and literally put them. The world loves Tanner. Well, tell me, do you think you confuse me? I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, this nice. Is fest. I just want to be a part of it. Understood. Um, this, oh, great work. Thank you so the much. The script is uh, a lot of notes. Start. You write all women as either unknowable Hitchcock bitches or Michael Bay fuck dolls. I mean, I get that a lifetime of jerking off to Transformers didn't exactly make you popular with the ladies, but um, a little effort would be nice. Oh, God. Um, excuse me. Oh, God. But I do have two sisters. Thank you very much. And, uh, excuse me, but Homelander really loves this script. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Where is he? Oh, shit, right. I like that she's questioning things. I got a few more headlines. <laughs> You gotta take constructive criticism. I've been in a creative writing class, you know? So you need to be able to take some kind of notes, man. And I know it's hard to take criticism. I've had to do it, and it can be hurtful sometimes, but you just gotta, like, listen to these people you're making a fucking story of. They have to have an opinion, too. Superheroes are not born, but made. In fact, Wait, created just, by did a Starlight do this? Compound v did she? Oh, she did this, right? Oh, look how happy she is. Yeah, and you let me walk away with it. So, this is kind of on you two. Yeah. If I go down, you come with me. We're going to lose everything. I mean, cars, houses. Material things. Bonuses. There are more important things. You know the only people that say that? Are the people who grew up with money. Hmm. I get why he doesn't want to lose Just everything. The parents. I heard the goldfish begging for their lives. They were begging. That's traumatic for a child. They could have been normal. Mm, you, all of them better be kind of pissed at their parents, right? They're lying. Oh, Black Mar, are you okay? Oh. So far, Vaught has refused to come for him. Dr. Jonah Vaught's bottom line. Is this good or bad? This 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 thing. Uh, yeah. Starlight did, mostly. Pretty sure, but I just gave her an old. How are you? How is this bad? <laughs> oh, okay. I was like worried. Look at what the fuck did The fucking kid. The fucking kitten did it. Oh, oh friend kitten. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Nice one. That's all you got? Come on. Give him some credit. I've been trying to do this shit for years. When we're all done here, I'll buy you a nice big family sized bottle of top shelf Luke. And I'll tickle your balls to your big man. He's stop. such a nice Even though what? Where the hell are you? I think it's time. This is in the trailer where he pushes yeah. them off? You ready? How old is the kid supposed to be? Because unless he's over nine, breath, step off. He might not even have developed powers yet. The rest. You call me dad. He doesn't want to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. Is he? Please tell me he heals or something. Hi. You're raising him to be a pussy. You don't get to tell me how to raise my son. I'm his father. You don't get to say that after what you did. What I did to you was give you a son. We're finally you are talking him about like this. a little girl. Let go of me. He's gonna He's protect gonna his mom. Yes, I love her! Just, 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 just. Ooh. Protect your mama. You have to trigger emotion, that's why. Good boy. But I'm also like angry that now Homelander knows he has powers and he's gonna exploit it, maybe take the kid away from her and raise him by himself. Just like me, right? No, I'm not like you! I'm nothing like you! I'm fucking you! Leave us alone! Hey, hey, oh wow. Me. I'm not angry. Ryan! Go away! Buddy, it's okay! Leave a us alone! Ryan! This is a good thing! <laughs> Obviously going about it the wrong way, man. Are you starting to realize something? Please? Do you know the way you talk with your sister? It's no sign language I ever seen. Oh, we're finding about it now? Did I just read a spoiler? God damn it. 
I only knew it because I was curious as to what kind of sign language it was because I didn't recognize some of the movements she did. Came up with the language. Oh, so I feel bad. I didn't wait. What are you teaching me? Nice. This is what I want. But then he needs to use his fucking hands and. Fuck you. Uh, all I need is a goddamn finger. Maybe this is our chance to leave while we can. Elena, if we do that, you know what'll happen. I'll call you back. Damn, shit, he heard. I'm terrified for her right now. Funny, you know. He's so scary in that way. You. He's crying. Oh, since when do you have friends? I yeah, was just venting about all this life before bullshit. you. What bullshit? What you haven't heard? Where have you been? Wow, I'm I'm just really worried about the storyline. Like he knows her what name now. Fuck? He can look her up and hurt her. I'm holding my big wet dream. Signed by the owner for the list of this vessel. So there must be some kind of misunderstanding. Look out! Oh! Get his hands! Oh, oh shit! Oh, they just fucked up the NYPD. What are you doing? We gotta help him. He saved Butcher. I find it hard to believe some survivor. Huey! 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 Now they know which boat it is. Let's just recite the 15 tenets together. No, fuck tenets? you and your creepy shit, Eagle. I'm hungry. Creepy shit. Okay, he, he knows it's creepy. That's good. See? It's time. Time for what? For you. It's your time to get back into the seven. What? This came from Alistair himself. Oh, is this when he goes in the water like in the Who? sneak peek? Who? Alistair and Donna. You guys. You are my real family. You're all hearing each other. <laughs> World still needs superheroes. And that, family... Stormfront. That's what we are. Why are you being so, so let's quiet? Get out there and do what it is we do. It's because Mr. Eggerzer. Fuck a lot, huh? I did not see that coming from you. Maybe you don't know me that well. Maybe I do. Starlight's the only one that like really fucked up a lot. How far? The deep. What the hell was that? That's a lot. Oh, you're gonna get that whale killed. Butcher, how are you doing? It's a really sharp boat. No! No! Oh. oh, poor whale. Oh, dude, don't run. Ugh. I must smell gnarly. Fuck oh, diabolical. Yeah. Very diabolical. Where's Huey? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. You alright? Kill yourself. Is that the heart beating? Or lungs or something? Um, you know what? You guys go ahead. You guys go ahead. I'm good. Come on. Come on. Get your fucking ass off of me! You're inside a whale. You ain't going. I ain't going. We'll just hang out inside of a whale. Asshole. Yep. <laughs> I love Emma for sticking up to Huey, really. I really do. Right on breaking point. 
at each other's throats. And you keep pushing us and pushing yeah. us. Yeah, breaking right point. Over the fucking finish line. Hey, what happened? You killed him. You fucking killed him, man. What? I just tried to help out, you know? I got some intel and just blow up and start to put him off. Oh, fuck, I just ran right into her. You fucking so sorry. I'm just like, I'm gonna try to stop my car. Oh, okay. Black yeah. Noir. Yeah. Okay, I gotta say, Black Noir is also one of my favorites. Like, we've seen him a bit more this season. And everything he's been in is just... It cracks me up. He is... Um, <laughs> like, seeing him sitting and crying when he finds out about the, the Compound V. Him playing with that toy in episode one. And now when he places his hand against his heart when he sees the whale. He's the best. Her. Look at me. Who invited you? Exactly? Starlight. Listen, what I did was unforgivable. Oh. I'm going to do everything I in my power to renew my light. <laughs> Not just for you, but for all the female people that I've offended. Renew your life? Did you just fucking join the Church of the Collective? Oh, wow. Maybe. You're an idiot. <laughs> Easy on the religious persecution, okay, new girl? Starlight. Maybe oh, one God. day you can welcome me back into the Seven. There is no fucking way you're coming back. There's no need for language. All right, enough! There's already Seven. We Who are you going to kick off, dude? Ooh. Look, I'm with you, sister, but first we have to go get the terrorist, okay? Nice, sister. <laughs> I like that she's right, stood between the him and the tunnel. Not you. She's quite protective. Anyone gets eyeballs on the target? He's mine, understood? One other thing, you, uh, you ripped your best. Your gill is showing. So? Just cover it up. Stop shaming it's him. Disgusting. Leonard definitely doesn't like anyone who is different, like, and I don't appreciate that. I mean, the Deep has made huge mistakes, and he's trying. He's actually trying now, and he's trying to love himself. And I feel like that is redeeming his character for me. Leonard's probably commented on his gills before, and that only made him even more self-conscious about them. Um, and which is why he treated women like shit as well. He needed to make himself feel better and stronger and more in control but yeah also that homelander was like you'll you'll be fine with the ladies eventually but cover up your gills like it's just oh he got such a twisted mentality feel bad for him oh you gotta take it easy man you're gonna break your heart oh gosh starlight yeah <laughs> she looks so awesome Those eyes are so You got cool. my message. No. Oh. Wow. Oh, did you hear that? All right. Don't touch her. I'd like you to do something for me, okay? Where's Stormfront? Help her. Kill him. No. Right now. He's like trying to Chicks, right, you force her to do shit oh, like Maeve. Come on, it's easy. Hands in the air. Like you just don't care. <laughs> kill. <laughs> like you just don't care. Nope. It's not that easy do to it. kill someone if you are normal. If you have a fucking conscience. And a heart. Okay. You kill him or I'll fucking kill you. Don't. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Boy, cunt. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. She's about to do it, though. William? What a surprise. Delicious. Ew, the tongue. Yeah. We know where that's been. Eat this motherfucker. <gasps> oh, yes. this motherfucker <laughs> he's fine but that was pretty awesome to see he just pulled the fucking truck down there oh wow that's pretty cool hey guys oh storm front Oh 
said she is powerful. Did I call that she wasn't good? Yeah, she's looking a bit evil. This is what I said last episode. I was like, they're making her too fun. I'm worried that because Mr. Edgar hired her, she's not going to be too good. Wow. Run. She gets some devil eyes when she's using her powers. Oh, she's gonna kill all willy nilly, it's so. <laughs> What the hell? She fucked this building up. That was an awesome jump. Save. She, she can't die really. Shoot her off. God damn it, Stormfront. I want a fucking disappointment. No! God damn it. I knew somebody would end up doing that. She is a bit psycho. Well, his character didn't last very long. He died saving her. She is psycho. Just like Homelander kind of likes it too. We saw that in season one sometimes. Fucking yellow bastard. Damn it. You just got him back to? He's the one person you can communicate with? Oh, she didn't leave him for a homelander. He got me pissed. I said he was mine. Is she stronger than him? Are they about equal? You snooze, you lose, Gramps. Cramps? <laughs> I I want to see more tension between them. I want to see them compete. I'm excited for that. Is Edgar trying to like replace Homelander? It was the work of a small, disaffected group of scientists led by former Vault employee Madeline Stilwell. But sadly, putting all the blame on the dead woman. Watching people die. What are you gonna say? Thank you. But we all know who the real heroes of this group are, right? People you see behind you. Oh, she better get her revenge, right? In a season. In. Like competition. <laughs> oh wow. She's very cocky. Jamaica doesn't like her. Gonna try and snap her head. Oh, I want that moment for her. I want her to get her revenge. This uh, this is a good episode. Um, I get why they released three and ended here because now we're just waiting for the last episode. Thankfully, that's tomorrow for me, so I don't have to wait that long. <laughs> but yeah, a real strong start to to the season for sure. Um, I kind of ha felt it coming with Stormfront where. She was becoming so likable, but then I remember the fact that Mr. Edgar had hired her and I wondered why. And it was probably because he's still in control of her. She's not as cool as we were led to believe. Um, she's definitely a psychopath of some sort and enjoys killing and 
hurting people. She sees herself as above them and they're expendable. But she just killed the whole family, took down an entire building, probably killing even more. Which is very similar to what we saw Homelander do. So she's another one of those soups, you know. Uh, that's too bad, but at least we know that Maeve and Starlight are still good. And I hope we get to see more of them interacting, you know. I just, they both want out, they both you know, want to be with people they love, but can't right now, and yeah. There's also something going down with A-Train, where his heart seems to be giving out, so I wonder if he's actually gonna either be kicked out of the team because he can't keep up, or he's gonna die, and maybe that makes room for the Deep who really wants to join, and Homelander doesn't have anything against that as long as he covers up. Which, I don't know, that seems like a toxic environment for him. Um, but I don't think An Annie will forgive him anytime soon. He did sexually harass her. And that's something unforgivable, you know. No matter how hard he, he'll try, I don't think it'll be easy to get her on your side at all. Um, he's still better than Homelander. still better than what we've seen of Stormfront. And A-Train is just an asshole, but... Uh, we we get got to know more about the Deep's backstory and all of that, and also now all of them figuring out that Compound B is why they're them. It just sheds a light for them that they could have been normal. So I'm hoping that some of them will act more human now that they know that they're not fucking gods. But obviously Homelander and Stormfront are unaffected by it. Anyways, um, this was a great episode. I'm sad that Kimiko's brother died, um, also in such a brutal way where his hands were hurt. And I, I had a feeling that was coming just because he relied so much on his hands for power. So I, I knew they were going to go at some point. Um, just really tragic. But it does set up a cool storyline for Kimiko, who's going to get her fucking revenge eventually, I hope. Um, and Huey seems to be breaking down, but I think at the end, him and... Butcher are united and that they'll keep each other going to try and stop this whole thing and to get Butcher's wife back. Anyways, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.